Hello everyone, welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. As you know, this week we've been going through our weekly lesson, which is all about Guy Fawkes Night, otherwise known as Bonfire Night, here in the UK. Now, I'd just like to spend a moment uh, talking about the dark side of uh, Bonfire Night. There's a headline here that says that on the night, that was on the 5th of November, which was, of course, rather eclipsed by the American election on the same night, it kind of stole the thunder out of all of the other news stories. Uh, But there's a a headline here which says, Police attacked with fireworks, bricks and bottles. So we're going to read this. This news story is actually from the 6th of November, the day after. And you're hearing this podcast on Thursday the 7th. Okay, so uh, let's see. Police officers have been attacked with fireworks, bricks and bottles during a bonfire night of disorder across parts of Scotland. Missiles were thrown at riot police gathered at Gilmerton and Sighthill areas of Edinburgh. So missiles were thrown at riot police. Oh dear. Right, it goes on to say that the Scottish government, remember, we have four separate governments around the UK. Well, that's not actually true. We have three separate governments and the central government looks after England. So there's a separate government in Scotland and it's issued a statement saying that this violence is disgraceful and unacceptable. It came after Police Scotland officers were given stop and search powers to deal with firework related anti social behaviour in some parts of the city. Uh, somebody here is saying we must stop the sale of fireworks to those who wish to use this time to cause havoc on our streets. To cause havoc means to create a problem. Uh, A police spokesman said, we are responding to incidents of disorder involving large groups of youths throwing a range of objects, including fireworks, bricks and bottles, across Edinburgh. And the story continues, control zones banning the use of fireworks in certain areas of the city are in place. So as I mentioned in yesterday's podcast, um, there are are movements now to have fireworks banned completely, uh, although uh, it looks like this is very much down to the local governments, not the national ones. Uh, A police helicopter was also brought in. Uh, It says youths have been throwing fireworks at officers. By the way, this isn't the first time this has happened. I'm not going to tell you it's a regular thing. But in Scotland, Bonfire Night has indeed been used as a night of violence against police, at least for the last few years, particularly around Edinburgh. I don't quite know what they're trying to say or what the statement is, whether it's supposed to be fun or whether it's a political statement. There's no evidence here. I don't know. It just... It just does look like it's young people. Listen to me sounding all old, honestly. Right, it says here, Police Scotland said a 25-year-old man was arrested and a significant quantity of fireworks seized after a search of a van. Yeah, well, it's what you generally find on fireworks night. Fireworks, no? (laughs) I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Uh, although maybe the police know that there was an intent to harm people with them. Um, The police said they now know that fireworks have been getting sold to underage people. Yeah, because you're supposed to be 25, I think, or over. Is it for fireworks? Well, at least 21. 
or it could be 18. I'm not sure what the law is, but for buying alcohol, it's 18. Uh, there are some things restricted to over 25s, but I can't remember what they are. There's not many. Um, let's see. Yeah, police found a quantity of fireworks and two cans of petrol. They seized those. Yeah, so when you seize something, it means you confiscate it, you take it away. Um, riot police were targeted with bricks and buses were pelted by pyrotechnics. Okay, so pyro in Latin means fire. So it sounds like some homemade device, doesn't it? Uh, one police officer was taken to hospital uh, when the window of a police vehicle she was sitting in was smashed. Um, firework control zones are in place in areas of Edinburgh now, meaning that you can't just set off your fireworks there. And they will continue until the 10th of November. Uh, the City of Edinburgh Council was the first in Scotland to implement firework control zones. Other councils have banned them outright, and now there's a petition looking for a national central government style ban to cover the whole of the UK. So very interesting, very interesting. And it also says here that um, uh, crowds were on the streets uh, as well in another city for the annual burning of the effigies. It looks a little bit dark, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's nice. Uh, but these effigies have included Rishi Sunak riding a train, Suella Braverman as an octopus, and Jeremy Clarkson driving a skip, which is a place you dump rubbish. While another featured the former post office chief executive, Paula Venels. Uh, and there's also a big one here of Nigel Farage, which was burned um during the celebrations of Guy Fawkes Night. Um yeah, by the way, this place where they were doing all of this isn't in Scotland. This is in a place called Lewis or Lewes, which is in Sussex. Um yeah, and just so you know, um burning effigies of politicians is something that's again become very popular in recent years. Um, around here, they were still burning pictures of Margaret Thatcher. So, yeah, a little bit too political for my liking, but there we are. Yeah, many people do this. And the next big event that will be coming up in the UK is Remembrance Sunday, which I think is this coming Sunday, I'll have to check, where we'll all be forced to be quiet for two minutes. I hate that. Uh, but I'll be giving you some live coverage I did go out uh, during the firework celebrations, but they weren't loud enough to really comment upon or make a podcast with. Although the air is still smoky and hazy today, which is quite interesting. So there we are, burning effigies uh, for um, uh, Guy Fawkes Night. That's, uh, that's the headline news. And uh, indeed, very, very sad um, uh, about those police attacks in Edinburgh. It's not just about Guy Fawkes Night. I think people here now are generally becoming more restless and they're looking for a little bit more respect and control when it comes to how they live their lives. Okay, that's it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't seen my weekly lesson yet, please do go teacherjoseph.com, download it, study it, look at it, do the things you want with it, and we will pick up again in the coming days. Thank you very much. Bye.